Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tour review is going to be a new tool from Milwaukee. It's their M12 planer that's part number 2524-20. Uh, this is fairly new to the market. I'm not sure how new. It just now came up for sale on Home Depot online to where I could ship it to the store. It's going to run you about $229 on there. However, I caught a deal on, uh, on Acme Tools. They had a flash sale going on and it was on sale for $199. But if I spent $250, I got $30 off. So I went ahead and picked me up uh, some more bits for my collated screw gun attachment. I also got another one of those adjustable hole cutters, which I've got a review for on the channel. Picked up one of those. And I got an extra set of blades for this. All for like $260. I got $30 off. All in with tax and everything. I got this for $244 along with all those. So if I bought it at Home Depot for $230 plus tax... You know, I basically got all this other stuff for free. So it worked out well for me. Uh, every now and then you're going to be able to catch stuff on a deal. And that worked out. But not only is this going to be a review for this or kind of an overview. Because again, I just got it. I can't really review to you uh, what I think about it and how it works so much. Other than what we're going to show you today. But I'm also going to talk about uh, the Bosch one in this. And kind of do a comparison video. Because to me, uh, that's what this is going to replace. I've had this for quite some time. It's a nice tool. And these are, to me, the only two 12-volt planers maybe out there. I didn't really look that up before I came out here to shoot this video. But I know whenever I went to get this, I had never seen one before. So maybe there's some other ones. If y'all know of another one, let me know in the comments below. But again, price-wise, if you're looking at Home Depot at $229 or Acme Tools $199, uh, the Bosch is going to cost you about $189. So they're pretty close in price. Not a lot of difference there. As far as the size, and this was one of the things that kind of worried me because the videos I kept seeing of this Milwaukee, I thought it might be way bigger than the Bosch because that was the selling point to me of this. I like that it's a one-handed deal, very lightweight, very compact. But as far as the size, they're actually not a whole lot different. Uh, they're, they're very similar in size. The Milwaukee is a little bit wider and a little bit longer. The shoes are the same width this way. It's 2.2 inches, and then it's 8 inches on the Bosch going here, and then it's 8 and 3 quarter inches going here. So you're basically just a little bit longer, and then I think this head up here is just a little bit bigger on the Milwaukee. But size comparison-wise to me, if I didn't have them sitting here right next to me, and I just picked up this one, I'd say that's the same size as my Bosch. Uh, there's nothing that's significant about it that to me is any different as far as the adjustments go they both have similar uh, as far as the amount they say that they have 20 to 21 uh, but i think they're counting zero here as one of those adjustments so you really have 20 i think from zero to 564 just clicks up one click at a time i, I really like the milwaukee it's very legible I, I know exactly what i'm doing so you know if i need to take a 16th i can either do two passes of a 30 second or i can sneak up on something or whatever it is very easy to read because when you compare that to the bosch even though it's got the same kind of adjustment it's just clicks all it is is from and you probably won't ever even be able to see that from minus to plus so you just know this is zero and then you just click it up but there's no numbers it's just clicks so you don't have any idea where you are it's kind of a guessing game and then you get over here to the max you have to press this in to go past that to get up to that max setting that you want to go to so again there's no way of really knowing exactly how much you're playing off with the Bosch so it's a win for me on the Milwaukee as far as the adjustments go I think that that's a big plus uh, with that they both have the same cutting width which is again 2.2 inches so you're not going to be able to plane you know any more width with one versus the other so that's a tie on that another win for the Milwaukee is going to be the kickstand uh, it has a kickstand so that holds your blades up off of whatever you have it sitting on so you don't have to worry about damaging your blade but here's the thing about the Milwaukee is if you can see that little nub there, I can pull that down and pull it to the side and now it's locked in place and it's not going to be in my way while I'm actually doing work because that's, if I had to pick one thing that I hate about the Bosch more than anything, it, it's this kickstand right here. You can see I've got goo all over here that I have to clean off all the time because I take tape and I push this down and I'll tape it around to keep this thing from kicking out on me because I'll be trying to get onto a door and then that will stick out and I can't get it down. It drives me crazy. And then, you know, some things, if you're doing it, you know, nothing that I do, 
is so much precision that, you know, a piece of tape on here built up here versus here is going to drastically change anything for me as far as for what I use this tool for. But man, that drives me crazy, this does right here. So the fact that the Milwaukee kickstand allows you to put it up into place, big win as far as for I'm concerned, as far as that uh, Milwaukee. Blade storage, it also has blade storage. Right here in the back, you just pull that out. There's your extra blades. And again, Milwaukee also has two blades in here. So as a matter of changing, it's pretty easy. All you do is, you know, loosen out these screws, flip it around and get your blades out. Now, Milwaukee has two blades to change out and two blades that actually cut, whereas the Bosch only has the one, And but it does have the on blade, uh, onboard blade storage as well. So they both have that that's a nice feature on both of them but again more blades on the milwaukee uh, i think that that's better as well both of them have that chamfer line so that if you want to put a chamfer on a board or if uh, you want to go down the edge of a door something like that you can use those so they both have that that's kind of a standard feature on most of these power planers like that uh, as far as weight bosch is a little bit lighter at 3.3 pounds milwaukee 3.5 that's nothing that you can even tell. You know, they both feel exactly the same to me. So very, very similar there. And then the attachments, that's another place where Milwaukee wins. So again, Milwaukee to me, with the adjustment, uh, with the kickstand, you got two blades. Uh, but here's another big one for me because Bosch, even though it comes with more attachments, uh, you get this bag that you can take and, you know, all of them are interchangeable and you can go from left to right. So if you want the, the stuff to come out the left side or the right side, which the Milwaukee also does, it has a switch here. So I can make the debris come out this side or I can switch it over here and make it come out of this side. But the vacuum attachments for the Milwaukee compared to the Bosch, you know, the Bosch, I can take this in and I can divert it so I can slide this in. It does the same thing that that switch does on the Milwaukee. You got the bag, but this thing fills up in two seconds. It's really worthless. And then the big thing is, you know, you got this uh, adapter here for the vacuum, so you can put that on. But Bosch's is only really compatible with probably like a Bosch vacuum or something. Uh, so I have to usually use my Fest tool and stick it in there and either hold it, come up with something and tape it. I don't have any of whatever this is. So I have to put something weird on there and make my own thing every time versus the Milwaukee it easily again i can divert which way i want the debris just as easy by doing that and then all this does is this slides right into that slot clicks in place i can take this part on and off if i want to and uh but this is just like their air tips so it takes the inch and a quarter inside inch and seven eighths outside and then a two and a half inch hose on the inside so basically any vacuum you've got You'll be able to make this work. You can easily just sit here and swap this back and forth from side to side. I think the vacuum attachments on this Milwaukee are more compatible with most people and it's going to work better for most people. So I think that's a better fit as well. And again, I'm going to show you the difference of vacuum and not vacuum. Uh, but, you know, you can use these for all sorts of things, whether it's cutting rabbits, uh, working on doors, uh, framing I use one particularly more than anything probably in framing after I frame my walls uh, and again this is interior kind of finished framing I like to take my laser I'll shoot it down the face of my studs on a wall see if I've got some crowned out and I'll go down through there and just shave it off so that whenever I go to do my drywall it just makes it a lot easier uh, that works out well but again anything that you're scribing so you guys know what you do if you're using a planer uh, what however you use it uh, these both will work probably pretty well for you and whatever it is that those tasks are. But let me go ahead and get my jaw horse set up. I'll put a two by six on there and then I'll go ahead and cut it with a Milwaukee without the vacuum on it. And then I'll cut it with it and let you see the difference of the dust collection. And I'll do the same thing with the Bosch. But again, remember this one's new with a hundred percent new blades and you know, this one's an older tool and the blade, I just reversed it probably about a couple weeks ago and the other side's already been used. So it's not a hundred percent new blade, but it's a fairly new blade and we'll just see what the difference is.
All right, guys, so that's the M12 planer. Again, part number 2524-20. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's going to work well. I, I think it has more power or it's the two blades cutting that makes it better than the Bosch, one of the two. But to me, it was cutting drastically better, especially whenever you get up there into that big size. You know, the Bosch is just hard for that to handle, even though, again, I had six amp hour batteries in both of them. Uh, but I think this Milwaukee, to me, outperforms that as far as for cutting. This one still is a good tool, so I'm not knocking it. I've used it for a long time, and if you're in Bosch, uh, I don't see any point of you going to buy a special battery and all that kind of stuff. You'd be pretty happy with that one, I think, but if you don't have either of them or if you're in Milwaukee, you might want to look at getting this and picking this up if this is something that you think might be useful to you. I think it's a good tool, so that's my thoughts on it right now. Again, it's a new tool to me. We'll see how it pans out over time, longevity, and things like that, but let me know what you guys think about it. Have any of you already picked it up, and have you been using it? Let us know in the comments below uh, what your general feel about it is, but I hope it was useful in some way. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.